Hi, for some context, this is the story that I've written based on a prompt from um, r slash writing prompts, yeah. And I'm not going to be making any more Skyrim content. I'll be doing this kind of thing instead. Anyway, let's get into it. <clears throat> the prompt is, you wake up at night with the Grim Reaper sitting next to you, weeping softly and saying, I don't want to do this anymore. <clears throat> Groaning, I rise from bed like a zombie. Fifteen hours ago, I did a responsible adult thingy called taking a dirt booster vaccine shot. Well, semi-responsible, because I postponed it at least five times before finally going to it so that I could skip out on working overtime at Walmart on a Friday. The plan was to stay home and play Skyrim all weekend, but the drowsiness and the constant headaches halted those plans. Being an adult sucks. Sitting up, I rub my temple and grumble some more. Someone passes me a cup of water and a painkiller. Shutting my eyes to try to push the headache out with my eyebrows, I take the offer with my hands brushing against their bony ones. I mumble, Hmm, thanks, Grandma. No response from the dark figure sitting beside me. I guess Grandma is too tired to say words, but aren't her pajamas usually a bright yellow or pink? Hmm. I pop the pill in my mouth and doubt it with water. Glop. I yawn, opening my eyes to make con- eye contact so that I could chat with her properly. Wait a second. My hands felt strangely colder than usual. She isn't visiting until Sunday morning, and there's a skull head scaring right at me. That's not grandma. A dialogue tone with my head goes off as I try to process what is happening. There is a hooded man sitting beside me, dressed in all black with a curved blade metal weapon thingy I forgot I forget the name of behind his back. Besides the large cosplay anime blade, he is unarmed. Skinny, doesn't seem to work out, doesn't blink. I guess I could take him in a fight. This whole situation screams stranger danger, but the alarm bells in my brain are broken and not sounding. I blink, saying, Hmm, who these? A corpse that sounded as deep as that one U- YouTuber called Corpse came out from the man. I am the Grim Reaper, bringer of death. At least, I'm supposed to be. Despite the sad tone in his voice, I get shivers. Something about him is supposed to be scary, but I can't really figure out what's so scary about a cosplayer with a voice changer. My headache is messing with my fly or flight fight response and changed it into a sleep or deal with creep response. I lay back, <clears throat> curling into a ball with the blanket. With my back facing him, I murmur, mm, steal whatever you want, just don't make a mess. The man does not move as I try to fall back to sleep. Ow, ow, ow. My head drops and this allows me to rest in peace. I sit back up, repositioning myself to let me lay on my chin on my knees. I stare at him, poking his mask. Hmm, that doesn't feel like plastic. Good quality. Trying to get my words not to slur, I asked. So, uh, uh, what's your deal? He spoke, poking my forehead back. I reap souls like yours and walk each one to heaven or hell. Damn, you're really good at role-playing the Rip Reaper. I wish I was fictional, a fairy tale conjured by bored human minds. Alas, I am not. We sit in silence and I am at a loss at what to do or think. This is one very delusional fella, but he doesn't seem dangerous yet. The bottom of his bone mouth starts to tremble and he bends down, his upper body now face down on my bed. I scoop my back, my butt back because I need my personal space. I hear him weeping. 
His body shakes and he sobs. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. I do a hard wink, trying the laziest way from, from removing my, the crust from my eyes. It doesn't work. So I resort to rubbing it out. Confused, I say, you don't want to be the real reaper anymore? No. The word sounds final, yet not. Well, I shrug. Who's forcing you? The gods. The people. The universe. He chokes on his words and continues to make my bit sheet more dab. Right. I squint at him. Weirded out, but willing to help. Look, I know your job isn't boring, but every job has its breaks or off days, doesn't it? I try reasoning with him, even though I put up two fingers and wiggle them up and down. He'll be okay. He doesn't see the sarcastic gesture. He sniffs, looking up at me. I suppose that's the case for you mortals? Exactly. I scraped my legs to bend down slightly to meet him at eye level. So why don't you take a day off? He regains his posture and sits straight up on the chair. But what shall I do? I never had free time before. I yawn. My f- head it fades as the painkiller starts to kick in. You know, I might be sleep talking. <sighs> but you could play Skyrim with me when I wake up again. Skyrim? I dumb myself into my pillow and shut my eyes, wrapping myself like a burrito in my blanket. My last words before I pass out are, I'll show you tomorrow if you're still around. Good night. Sweet dreams, friend, he says. Before I, tri- before I sleep, I hear the flipping of a notebook page and him grumbly. Ah, uh, curses! Our death year is, two- is 2122, not today! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Ta-da! Bye.